Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hello again. So this is my... So today is going to be all about some of my bee decors that I have done already, DIYs. And I'm going to show them to you again. So if you like what you see budget, here, um, I, I do DIYs thrift, on a budget. Flips, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, flips, and farmhouse rustic decor, decor, decor wreaths. And so if you like what you see here, you know what to do. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also leave me a message. I love to hear what you guys think. think. I love to hear and what you guys think. And give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. And also give me a thumbs up. You can also follow me over on Instagram, You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, Make sure you come check out my Facebook group. I post videos on there all the time. Make sure you come check out Facebook because I'm always putting some videos on there as well. It's called Chris. Street also, Design. I own a shop. It's called Christmas Street Designs. It is an Etsy shop. I will have all those links down below. But today is all about Summer Frenzy. My co-host is Craftastic DIYs. And these are my lovely friends and who are joining in this month as well. And I will have a playlist down below. So make sure you go check everyone out. But more about that in a minute. The first DIY number one. So the first DIY, I am going to use this pinwheel from the Dollar Tree that looks like a bee. Some of these hearts, wood hearts, this little round wood piece I had, and one of those signs from the Dollar Tree. First thing I did is I needed to make these hearts that I got from Hobby Lobby a little bit smaller. So I used these wooden hearts to trace out. Then I cut them out, and then I am going to paint them all black. Then I went over them with a light dry brush of the white just to kind of show the little grooves that are in these hearts that I got from Hobby Lobby during Valentine's Day. But you can use regular wooden hearts as well. And then I also did the same, same thing to the head of the bee. Then I had um, this rusty piece of like spiral wire that I had, but you could use any kind of wire. You could use floral wire. And what I did is I glued on my two hearts onto that piece from the pinwheel, and then I glued on my little head, and I glued on the little metal pieces, and then I glued the whole bee down to the little hexagon. And then I took this little happy sticker that I found in my stash, and I glued that to the bottom part, which would be be happy. And there's your sign, you guys. Super simple, right? These are all going to be really simple. So today is about summer frenzy. And like I said, these are all my friends. We get together the 20th of every month. And there's always somebody new co-hosting. And we all pick a theme. And it's a really cool group. I need you to go check them out, you guys. I will have the playlist down below. But now DIY number two. So I'm going to take another hexagon from the Dollar Tree. It's a wood piece. And I am going to paint it white. I got these really pretty napkins off of Amazon. They have a bee on it and a little wreath. And I'm going to cut one piece off and then take the uh, extra piece of napkin off. I'm going to mod podge on the um, hexagon. And then I'm going to place my piece down after I dry it. Then I'm going to put the... Uh, parchment paper over the top of my napkin use my heat iron and iron it and what it does is it penetrates the mod podge to reactivate and it makes the napkin stick down and it doesn't leave any bubbles or any wrinkles super cool to do and i have that everything's in my amazon shop so if you see anything you like that you want to get the napkins or anything like that you could get them in my amazon shop and then I'm using the antique wax to kind of like make this a little more rustic because that's what I like. You could totally skip this part if you don't want to do it. And I just did a dry brush around all of it. Then I took some of the picks that I have from the Dollar Tree and I just glued them to the top on both sides and made a little floral thing on the top of it. And it's like some yellow flowers. And then I stuck this bee that I had in my stash on the top as well. And that's it for this DIY. Super cute, you guys. I love the way these turn out. I love those napkins, by the way. And now DIY number three. So this one, I took one of these houses from the Dollar Tree, some fabric from the Dollar Tree, some pigs from the Dollar Tree, everything's from Dollar Tree. And what I did is I took the fabric and I used one of my thin Sharpies. And to trace it out, the easiest way I found was to just use my Sharpie to trace the top part first of the house where the roof is and then go along the sides. And it worked out perfectly. 
Then I used my Mod Podge to Mod Podge the fabric down, and then I went over the top of it with the Mod Podge as well. Then, I, of course, I went around the edges with my antique wax, and I dry brushed the edges, and then I also dry brushed the front of it as well. And if I went too heavy in some spots, it just rubs right off, especially when you Mod Podge on the top. Then I took some more of those picks that we've been using, and I just used them for the roof of my house as well. And sorry about my voice, you guys. I have COVID. I got sick. I came home for vacation. And me and my kids all got sick. So I'm having a hard time talking. It's because I run out of breath. And um, that's what COVID does. And I try to be very careful. So I'm not trying not to speak too much. But it's very hard for me. So, yeah. So pray for me. <laughs> so... I also put twine around it as well, and I put a little sunflower and put some of those enamel bees on it as well. So now DIY number four. So this DIY, I took one of these uh, beehives uh, frames that they have at Dollar Tree now, and I took uh, this honeycomb um, fabric that they have at the Dollar Tree, and I just glued the whole frame down to the fabric. Then I cut it out with my scissors along the edges and then I took these picks that you get from Dollar Tree during the fall but they have them out all the time. I've seen them still out and I just went along the edges but if you don't have these floral picks what you could do is you could use a floral moss and glue that down. I've done that or chunky yarn you know in yellow or gold it works as well. I have another video where I use the chunky yarn. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have that link down below. And then I did used one to make the circle for the opening of my honeycomb. And then I took some bees again, and I just glued those around the center. And then I made a little bow, and I put that at the top. And I put a little sunflower at the top in the center of my bow. And that was it for this DIY. The only other thing I did is I put a little hanger on the back with a zip tie. And all I did was punch a little hole in the back and strung a zip tie through underneath the bow. And that's how I made my little hanger. And that's it. And this is the wrong picture, so I apologize. That's the one I did with the chunky yarn, though. So go check out that video, too. So now DIY number five. This one, I took one of these hexagons for the Dollar Tree, some bubble wrap, a bee, some chalk paint, and first I'm going to tape the inside, and then I went all along the edges with the uh, antique wax, and then I'm going to trace out the hexagon onto the bubble wrap, and then I just painted the part where I put the hexagon, I painted the bubble wrap with a golden rod color, and then I turned it over and stamped it on to my complete surface. And then I took my stencil that says, be happy, and I stenciled it with some white chalk paint onto my little hexagon. And now it says, be happy, and then I just took that off. And then I took one of these bees that I got from Hobby Lobby, cut the wire off, and just glued it right on to my sign. And that's it, you guys. This one was super simple, and I love how rustic it looks. Now DIY number six. This one, you gotta let me know which one you like the best though in the comments. I love to hear what you guys think. So I'm gonna use one of these honey glue sticks that I got on Amazon, which will be in my Amazon shop. Everything I use that's not from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby is in my Amazon shop. And then what I did is I painted the birdhouse with that golden rod color first. And I did the front, the back, and the base. I left the sides. And I left um, the top, I painted the top yellow but because I did the edges. But then what I did is I took this B scrapbook paper I had and it had a wood piece in it that looked like wood. And I used that for the roof. So I just traced it out and then I cut it out and then I used my Mod Podge. And you could just glue it, Mod Podge it, whatever you want to use. Use the glue stick. But I used Mod Podge and I glued it to the top of my birdhouse to make it look more realistic. And then I used this other scrapbook paper that I had. This is actually looks like a honeycomb, but you can't tell on camera. <laughs> I don't know why. But then I um, Mod Podge uh, the sides of my birdhouse, and I did that on the back and the sides. 
and on both sides. And this was the best way to cut these out was just kind of like using my finger to do it. And then what I did is I used some Distress Oxide and a stencil brush and to make this look more rustic because that's what I like. I just like did a rustic like little uh, dry brushing all around the bird cage and around the edges. I'm sorry, the bird house. I keep saying cage. <laughs> and then once I got that all done, excuse me, I took my glue sticks and I put them in the honey ones and I just glued them on. These are in my Amazon shop, like I said. So if you want to get them, they're in there and they're still selling them. And then I glued down my bees to where you see the opening of the bees. I wanted to put real bees on there. I wanted this to look a little more upscale. So that's why I did it this way. But I mean, you can really do anything with these. You could upscale them all you want. Or you could downscale them, whatever you prefer. But this is what I liked. And then I put like one of these bigger sunflowers that come in a pack from the Dollar Tree. And I stuck that on there with some floral on the top just to decorate my roof. And then I used one of these picks that look like little eucalyptus leaves. And I did those where you see the leaf carvings on the bird birdhouse. And I just glued those down in front. And then what I did is I took some of these yellow little balls. I guess you could call them. I don't know. But they're on a pick. And I just glued those down. Sorry, excuse me. And then I just uh, glued down some more florals. So as you can see, I just kept adding on until I got where I wanted it to be. Super, super easy. And then I did some more on the sides. And then I stuck out another sunflower. And I just kept going. <laughs> I just couldn't stop because it just kept looking better as I went. So I just kept doing it. But you guys gotta let me know what you think. I think this one was one of my favorites too. So, And now DIY number seven. So this one, I took the last for the best. I took one of the bee uh, frames from the Dollar Tree and I painted it black and then I spray painted black some um, fabric yellow fabric from the Dollar Tree and then some black ribbon and what I'm doing here is I'm just spacing out and figuring out how many stripes I need for my bee to go on my fabric because that's how I have the stripes for the bee and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of laying them down first and cutting them and then I'm going to go back in with my glue gun and I'm going to glue them down just in the center on the fabric because then I'm going to lift up the beehive, trace it out, cut it out, and then glue it down to my beehive. To my bee. Sorry, not beehive, bee. And, um, yeah, so that's what I did there. So I just kind of put it on top, and then I just started gluing around. And I went all around the edges. And it's okay, you're not going to see the glue. I know you see it now, but you'll see what I'm going to cover that up with in a minute. Then I took this striped... Uh, fabric that you could also get at Dollar Tree and I just cut out the wings with this. I used this for my wings because I thought it was perfect. But I mean you can use lace if you can't find this uh, fabric. I've seen people do that. Looks super cool too. Um, doilies that works too. But then what I did to cover that all up is I'm taking my Spanish moss and I'm just kind of like rolling it out in like a long strip and then I'm gluing it down to the frame to cover all that mess up. And then what I did is I trimmed it with my scissors as well just to trim it up to make it look neater. And I did that all around the whole uh, bee except for the head part of the bee because that we're going to use one of those half styrofoams that you can either get at Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree carries them too now. And I used that for the head. And I, what I did is I spray painted it black. The styrofoam. And um, there it looks all trimmed up. And now I'm going to take one of these pipe cleaners. I'm going to pin it down with some pins uh, that you could get at any store. Any craft store sells those pins. Um, and it holds it down. And then you just stick it in there and... I kind of tied it together to keep it in tight, but to make it even more secure, I just put some glue. And then I went around the edges of where the um, little antennas are, and I just wrapped my um, pipe cleaner around the edges to make them look a little bit better. And then I made a little swag with some of my picks on each side, tied it in the middle, put a bow, 
and boom, there's your bee. There's your bee wreath. So you guys got to let me know what you think. I absolutely love the way these turned out. I'm glad I could show them to you again. Sorry about being sick. I hope you guys understand. And um, wish me luck on getting better. And I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, remember, stay crafty. Bye.